Hey guys, it's Bellamy here from Midnight Suns. I just got back from an opening day screening of the new Gundam Seed Freedom movie. Yeah, this is the long-awaited sequel movie to Gundam Seed and Gundam Seed Destiny. And before I start this review, I just want to show you some of the cool things you can get if you watch this in cinemas in Singapore. So you can get a cool plastic character and mech stand. Yeah, so this is the Atheron Zala stand. Yeah, with the Zagok. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> And then you have some stickers and you have some character and mecha model sheets and you have Japanese novels if you can understand Japanese. And yeah, special thanks to Cafe Cineplexes for supplying us with all these items. If you watch this movie at their cinemas, every week you can get one of these items over there. So yeah, highly recommend watching this movie at Cafe if you can and if you are in Singapore. But alright, now let's review the movie. So is this movie great? Heck yes it is. So if you are a Gundam Seed fan, you are gonna really, really enjoy this movie because there are just so many callbacks to Gundam Seed and Gundam Seed Destiny. And yeah, all the fan favorite characters, all the fan favorite mechs, all the mobile suits, all written. You get multiple versions of freedom, multiple versions of justice, and you even get Destiny back. Yeah, I won't spoil too much, but yeah, this movie is really the ultimate fan service movie for all the Gundam Seed fans. And alright, now let's talk about the story. So, unfortunately, if you watch Gundam Seed or Gundam Seed Destiny, then you know exactly what you're in for. This is more of the same. So, half of the show is really about politics. Like, people are just talking about politics. And the other half of the show is a pretty dumb teenage romance story, which is typical of Gundam Seed and Gundam Seed Destiny. And yeah, the whole movie is just filled with pretty angsty teenage characters who are constantly arguing about love. And yeah, it can kind of get pretty cringy at times, but you know what, I don't care about any of that because the action in this movie is amazing. All the animation during the battle scenes are just fantastic here, like they set it up from even the original Gundam Seed and Gundam Seed Destiny, and yeah. The action choreography itself, the fight choreography, is so fantastic. Now, the movie starts off with this very big action scene, which was awesome. And then, unfortunately, the next 40 minutes is very, very slow. Like, it really becomes like just people talking about politics for 40 minutes. With some teenage romance inserted here and there. But then, when the main villains reveal themselves towards the middle of the movie, and then there's a huge battle, from that point on, everything just goes uphill and the movie is just amazing from that point on. The final battle especially, I think, is definitely the best final battle in any Gundam movie that I've ever seen. And all the characters, even though I think there's a lot of unnecessary teenage romance drama, but all the characters were handled really well. So like, my favourite character in the whole Gundam Seed series has always been Atheron. And yeah, his character is handled perfectly in this movie. And you know how other characters like Shin, you know, characters that a lot of people don't like and people always make fun of certain characters, but yeah, even characters like Shin, people always complain about how stupid his character is, well, they actually have a payoff for that in the final battle and yeah, that was pretty badass. And yeah, I really really love this movie and because I like it so much, I really think like if you're a Gundam Seed fan, avoid all spoilers for this movie as much as you can and yeah i'm not gonna like talk about the story or the characters anymore because if i talk anymore i think i might spoil a lot of the movie for you so i will keep this review as short as i can and so for my final score i'm giving this movie an 8 out of 10. i think gundam seed freedom is a really good movie like the first 40 minutes could have been a lot better like it was really pretty slow but after that first 40 minutes oh my goodness like the movie just picks up from there and it is just an amazing ride all the way until the end and i really do think that this movie is the perfect epilogue to gundam seed like the whole gundam seed franchise you know and i hope that from this point on they don't make any sequels to the gundam seed franchise because this movie gundam seed freedom was honestly a better ending to gundam seed than gundam seed destiny was and yeah, needless to say, I highly recommend this movie to all Gundam Seed fans. I think the hardcore fans might give this an even higher rating than I am giving it. And that's all for this review, guys. If you're interested in my movie reviews and my movie commentaries, do consider subscribing to us here on the Midnight Suns channel. And with that being said, stay gold, everybody, and I will see you all around. Bye, guys.